Hi everybody, this is Connie. I am back with another month of the Bookcase.club uh, unboxing. Get right into that. This is a monthly subscription box for um, $9.99 plus tax. Um, so it usually ends up to be less than $15 a month for this. And it is um, there are several different genres that you can you can ask for. There are there's a romance one. There is a mystery one. There is uh, I can't think right now. Um, a paranormal romance one, which is the one that I get. There is one where you can get four. You usually get two books a month. You can um, get uh, four books a month on. Uh, it's the read with your kids box where you get four um excuse me i'm sorry as soon as i get on this darn camera um anyway you can get four um reading books for your kids that you can read to them at night so it's kind of it's really a fun fun um subscription box to get and this is um can't keep calm it's bookcase dot club's birthday awesome and um, it's the this stuff here is where you can tag them at. It's got little birthday candles on it. That's very cute. It says happy birthday to us. Can you believe it's been a year? We hardly can. And now that we have now that we have got this far, there are only more things to come. Surprises lie in wait, just like this month's picks. Thank you. Enjoy Crystal. That Crystal is who boxed my box. Boxed my box. Just take these out of here. And the first book that I'm let me get rid of this box, it's about ready to fall. The first book that I'm seeing is The Other Side of Midnight by Simon 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 St. James, author of Silence for the Dead and the Haunting of Maddie Clare. That's what it looks like. It says here on the back of the book, London, 1925. Glamorous medium, uh, Gloria Sutter, made her fortune helping the bereaved contact loved ones killed during the Great War. Now she's been murdered at one of her own seances after leaving a final message requesting the help of her former friend and sole rival, Ellie Winter. Ellie doesn't contact the dead, at least not anymore. She specializes in miraculous, miraculous, I cannot speak this morning, I am sorry, miraculously finding lost items. Still, she can't refuse the final request of the only other true psychic she, is, she has known. Now Ellie must delve into Gloria's secret and plunge back into the world of hucksters, lowlifes, and fakes. Worse, she cannot shake the attentions of handsome James Hawley, a damaged war veteran, who has dedicated himself to debunking psychics. As Ellie and James uncover the sinister mysteries of Gloria's life and death, Ellie is tormented by nightmarish visions that herald the grisly murders of those in Gloria's circle. And as Ellie's uneasy partnership with James turns dangerously intimate, an inside evil force begins to un determined their quest for clues, a force determined to bury the truth and whoever seeks to expose it. Uh, okay, let's read what they say in here. Gloria Sutter was murdered at one of her own se seances and left a note for Ellie Sutter, but she doesn't commune with the dead anymore, and she is having to fight the attentions of James Hawley, who has ded dedicated himself to debunking psychics. Okay. There's that one. The next one, that was a, like, uh, this is a, a large paperback. And this one is a hardcover. This is by Amanda Quick, Crystal Gardens, a Ladies of Lantern Street novel. And there she is on the back. All right. This is in the latest novel from New York Times bestselling author Amanda Quick, The Lives of... Victorian gentry are filled with secrets, but what's buried beneath Crystal Gardens has a power that cannot be concealed. Novelist and professional campaign 
companion, Evangeline Ames has rented a cottage in the outskirts of Little Dixby, far from the London streets where she was recently attacked. Fascinated by the paranormal energy of nearby Crystal Gardens, she finds some pleasurable diversion in sneaking past the wall to explore the grounds. But when her life is threatened again, she instinctively goes to the gardens for safety. Lucas Sebastian has never been one to ignore a lady in danger, even if she is trespassing on his property. Quickly disposing of her would-be assassin, he insists on keeping the matter private. There is plenty of whispering about him already, with rumors of treasure buried under his garden and occult botanical experiments performed by his uncle, who died of mysterious causes. Immediately sensing each other's psychic talents as well as their mutual desire, Lucas and Evangeline find, that, find themselves with an even more pressing concern. Whoever tried to have her killed will try again, but who would want her dead? With Evangeline's, Evangeline's skill for detection and Lucas's sense of the criminal mind, they soon discover that they share a common enemy and that the dangerous energy emanating from crystal gardens grows stronger they realize that to survive they must unearth what has been buried for too long that is that book i've got to say i'm not totally thrilled with these choices um i'm not crazy about historical stuff um and two ghost books come on guys you can do better than this really let's go Paranormal is vampires and werewolves or shape shifters or there's you do a lot of stuff with ghosts and that kind of stuff. I'd like to see more. Um, more stuff in this this day and age, stuff like like I said, vampires or um, vampire hunters or shapeshifters, werewolves, uh, big, you know, stuff that shapeshifts into cats or, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, two psychic or ghost, ghost type stuff in one box. Come on. Really, you guys can do a little better than that. Um, I do love this book, this box. I do absolutely love it. Just not crazy for this month's choices. Um, they're both historical, they're, they're both, you could go on opposite ends of the spectrum with these. Don't pick two like books. Um, these, these books will be being passed on. I, I won't read either one of these, um, which is very sad because I love this, this bookcase.club. Um, just don't think it was worth it this month. Sorry, guys, I have to give my honest, honest reactions to these books and not happy with this, these choices as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.